Super Hawk Bros 2. What is going on? Oh! <laughs> Sonic 2. That could be fun. I don't know if I'd get through it. I was expecting a uh, one of those cool intro screens, but uh, turns out... Oh, okay. That's a running jump. Well, that's not going to work. Yo! Evniak? Evniak? <laughs> what is Kraken? Evan IEC. This is, uh, see, usually they kind of start out and they give you a little text box and they're like, Hey, welcome. Welcome to the hack. Here's the cool stuff that's going on. Uh, no, no. I'm jumping straight into some sort of uh, Metroid escape style thing. Okay, I think I'm going to just spin straight onto that. It's going to be on the left-hand side, sort of making its way over the corner. Um, yeah, so I played through the original again because I'm attempting to try and get a good time on that for a, a kind of a low-key event that's going on. Oh, the door's right there. Oh, no dramas. Easy. You thought you could escape. I did, actually. How naive. Journey's End? Yeah, the, the last level of the first game was called Journey's End. So, is this a level or...? Ah, it's a level. Go through the door to enable instant retry. Be warned though, it may have other side effects. I mean, how bad could they be? How bad could the other side effects be? Like, we could just restart if it's that bad. I'm, I'm a fan of instant retry. Uh, instant retry is now enabled. Yay! Screen scroll is now switched. Oh no! Oh my screen scroll! Oh my God. Seriously, that's not even a downside. My poor my, my screen scroll. Screen scroll, if you don't know, it's when um, you have to have no other buttons pressed. You can press the L and R kind of shoulder buttons to scroll the camera slightly left or slightly right. Um, it can be useful if you've messed up a section and you need to respawn something without because you can't move too far left or right to kind of cause the thing to respawn or reset. Um, maybe there's more to it than that, but really it's it, it, it's not even a thing. Don't worry about it. A new beginning. Hey, there's I can go to two different levels. A new beginning. A new beginning it is. <sighs> Whatever happened to Hark's Chipotle order? We never did find out. Exactly, it's nerd stuff. That's right, at the very start of the um, of the first one, I said something about, oh, it's Chipotle, like some, something, I don't know. Uh, all right, so am I, I'm stuffed already? Yeah, I'm guessing that I need to be fast enough. <laughs> all right. I need to be fast enough that I catch the spiny before it uh, runs off. So can I go left side? Okay, you can go left side. I'm just gotta chill and head on over. Done, done. And then something spawns from the top. All right, it's gonna be a lot of trial and error, but that's, you know, it's the nature of the game. The first level, the first level of uh, Hark Bros 1 did have kind of a, a baffling setup as well. We had to try and figure out what to do. So this is totally fine. It's very old school, like this kind of this kind of setup, where it's all blind. It's super old school. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we just wait. Oh wait, they uh, <laughs> they continue to do their thing. Why did someone redeem? I don't think anyone redeemed the thing, did they? <laughs> oh, that's a that's a long one. All right, so that's one of those hilarious uh, troll uh, pipes, and that's a checkpoint. Easy, easy, easy. We have a checkpoint. So what's the go here? That thing falls down. All right. Dan, what's going on? Okay. 
Uh, but you can't swing that far left because there are there's a wall of nerds on the left. All right, and then a regular jump to this thing, and then aha! Uh -huh, all right, so maybe aha! Uh -huh, I can I can do that. I can get a bit of airtime, then we'll reverse back over. Okay, that that's how that's done. I think that's the way. Well, I might be able to do a couple of long uh, high jumps. Or just, yeah, something like that, a sort of medium. That will do the trick. And then I guess fast here. And they're coming back. So there's two platforms. <laughs> hey, there we go. There's a level. That was not too bad. But it's, uh, yeah. I'm, uh, I really enjoy the ones where you just kind of go fast and you don't have to die to learn things. But, you know, there's there's a lot of different styles of these kinds of games. Uh, yellow Switch, I guess we'd just do that. GG, I love your golden GG. It was, uh, it was well worth it. <laughs> uh, okay, well. GG, thank you. Thank you, Evan. Uh, okay, so how... Can I actually spin jump down here? Uh, I'm just gonna YOLO. No, okay, so there's no jumping allowed. Unless this is like, no, you can't change jump type in midair. I thought that would be weird to throw in on the second level. So, how does that work? This is slightly puzzling. I guess we just avoid, avoid them. There's gonna be some kind of timing. Um, where I can get cleanly onto that. I'll just go straight away. No, going straight away is bad, but going straight away sometimes works. You'd be surprised. Okay, so a little bit less of a pause than that. <laughs> this is a big trial and error kind of game. It's not my favorite style, but a, a lot of people like this, so. Uh, who am I? Who am I but some guy that's playing stuff? Are those saws moving faster than usual? And that one just lines up. Nice. And what's the go here? And then... Uh, uh, hmm. I wonder if I need to bounce on the bottom one or if I can just get enough height to get straight into the top one. I shouldn't even need to wait for those. I've have a spin jump. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So maybe I just uh, take it really far to the right, out, and then try and go to the right. No, that was not going to work that time. All right. There we go. <laughs> okay. I have to fall down. Oh, which way? By the way, this background, the diagonal checkerboard, it makes me think of Sonic. I have no idea why. I guess it's just the color. It's not necessarily the orientation. Um, if I could jump down, this would be great, but I need to fall, therefore no spin. Uh, no, okay. Okay, that time, did I do the same thing? I waited until it was on the right hand side. You have to forgive me if that's what I tried last time. Maybe, okay, I'll go when it's in the middle heading, heading left. Okay, that works. Hey, what's up here? What's up here? A one up, okay, well, it's worth a shot. Now, how do I get, what? Cool, cool. Now, <clears throat> what happens here? Maybe I don't hold... Oh, what? Okay, that time I didn't hold jump, so I fell at a faster speed. Uh, that, that didn't really work out so well for me. This is going to take a few attempts. 
I didn't I didn't see where the gaps were, unfortunately. I just kind of uh, hooked off to the right. <laughs> okay, and then this one works. Okay, well, it looks like we figured this out. Heavy blind, yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, hey, piano wizard. Good evening. Good evening back. Uh, okay, it's 1:41. Okay, yes, that's a good time for you. Scotland's 11:40 a.m. Right, so you're a uh, slippery pylons. You're uh, about 12 hours, 11 hours behind, behind me. That is. So you'd be GMT minus one or something. All right. Switch Palace. A bunch of stuff. All I can see are saws. I cannot read the text. It looks like a pretty stock Switch Palace kind of thing. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad we got that one down. That was kind of a nasty end to the level. <laughs> yeah. Okay. One thing. One thing I've got to tell you about those um, those saws is the hitboxes are very deceptive. Like in that case, it works in my favour. So yellow switch done. That feels good. What was this one called? It was called something. It's a level. We have a disco shell section. This looks fun. Just got to get the timing. Oh, okay. That's the theme, is it? The theme is the, uh, these things. A Japanese guy said they were called crazy shells. Um, in his translation but uh yeah i don't know what they're actually called uh, i checked through the manual oh, that's the checkpoint wow that's a short one to some extent obviously it's um a little bit slower than you um and it attracts you know it, it's turning radius is quite is quite uh big it's hard to talk while I'm playing this one. <laughs> one sec. Um, so I guess it's kind of like a disco shell in that it tries to track you, but it, it doesn't quite. You know, there's there's a little bit of room for error. Uh, so it's, it's kind of like that. Anyway, that's that's my cool fact about about Quake. Um, I typically I don't like talk about just like enemies, but since you thought you know if there was a disco shell in Quake, there you go. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. There's a there's a little fact. <laughs> I hope I hope that was um was worth your points. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are we doing here? All right. Oh. Whenever I go to upload something, which which I do often. It's hard to not notice that my uh, the amount of follow or sorry subscriptions on YouTube is is listed. Um, and I feel like it's it doesn't go anywhere. Like it says that I've got new subscribers, but the number is has not gone anywhere. So there's heaps of people that are unsubbing, and that's fine because I ultimately <gasps> what I, I don't know how. Hey, I have no idea what I was actually supposed to do there. But I'm going to, as I've said recently, I'd rather be lucky than good. And in, <laughs> in, <laughs> in that case, I don't often get that lucky. I'm happy with that. Thank you for the G. Yeah, question mark. I have no idea. Heaven sent. You know, I liked that second level much more than the first one. first one was not my favorite thing in the entire world um, but the second one was lovely you know I I think some people I, I can't speak for everyone but I hear a lot of complaints about disco shells <laughs> and I think it maybe I'm naive maybe I haven't played the brutal disco shell levels just like, you know, I was naive about water levels because I hadn't played any of the, like, super hard ones. It was very cool. It was creative. And I appreciated it. Uh, bro? Okay. 
I reckon that's that's it, right? You get it to, to give you a little boost. Get a little boost. There, and then right side. And then huh, get the boost. Duck. They're always making you think the wrong thing. I feel that very deeply. <laughs> oh, what a... Penguin friend. Huh. Oh yeah, just the two. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> that, <clears throat> that was my favorite. <laughs> that was by far one of my favorite trolls. <laughs> got sucked down hard. I want to test something. Yeah. Okay, so that, and then... No, okay. It does matter whether you hold jump or not. But... It feels like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm exp What I'm trying to say is when I get to that section, I'm expecting to have a much lower bounce. But I'm not. So, I need to readjust my expectations of the bounce. So... There we go. Alright. Penguin? Oh, we just go down. Alright. Checkpoint! And then collect the Yosh. But do it in a better kind of way. So how do we do that in a better kind of way? If I throw the Yoshi... So I don't know if I'm supposed to have him... Okay, no, I go over it, okay. And I'm doing this wrong, but what... Wait, but what is the coin for? Oh, we're getting some hints. What is the coin for? You're right, what is that coin for? Like that one, I have no idea what that one's for. And then... Hmm. Am I missing something here? What? Oh, sh Thank you, Blue Ribbon. Oh my goodness. Stand there. I'm guessing I didn't want to... I didn't want that one either. So I do want this one, I guess? Okay, no. Uh, huh, huh, um, uh, uh, I mean, once again, once again, my small brain. Fire flower block. Yeah. Fire flower block. I mean, there's a potential for it to be a fire flower block. The thing is, the game hasn't told me anything about fire flowers yet. So if that is the case, then then I maybe there's a progressive power up or something, or or maybe I am actually supposed to collect that fire flower. So, like, is there a way to do that? Because in order to throw Yoshi... Actually, Yoshi is... Yeah, Yoshi is one of those ones where in order to throw him, you have to hold right. And if I hold right, I lose my speed. Okay, and then... So I, <laughs> I completely understand, like, uh, that kind of, uh, like, how people would feel about getting called out when they press the follow button. <laughs> but, um, yeah. 
over. And then this is the one where I stand up and then duck again. Gotta remember, hold the jump button. Go over. Uh, keep Yoshi, lose the fire. Uh, okay, I'm guessing I need to eat that because that looks like a Yoshi ditch. Alright, there we go. That's the level. And yet you don't practice. Yeah, exactly. Because I feel like not everyone's like me. I like to treat people the way I'd like to be treated, but then if I feel like the way that I want to be treated is broken and dumb, then I should do better, then I don't, <laughs> I don't treat people that way. <laughs> the live land, begin the level. This has been all right so far. We've got like, what, three or four X's down or something? What does that mean? Spin here. You may not, with the exception of one spot. Depends on where you go. Not really that common unless it's already part of your diet. Right, okay. Oh. What? I can't spin, guys. I'm pressing A. It's just a regular uh, thing. But apparently that I can spin jump somewhere. Definitely not cheese. <laughs> yeah. So no spin jumps allowed. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> I think I did that incorrectly. Oh, we like we like these boo circles, don't we? Please, I need I need so many followers so I can be a YouTube oh sorry, a Twitch success. Can't be one without a bunch of followers. What's up there? That looks kinda sus. Can I spin jump here? No, this is not the spot. Uh oh I <laughs> okay, I see why we can't spin jump. It would make this part too easy, wouldn't it? So maybe that's maybe that's why we're getting along so famously. Oh, that goes all the way out. <laughs> Does it go all the way across? Yeah. Uh huh. And then yeah. fast. Oh, I'm guessing. Wait, is that? You reckon that's the spin part, or I just have to make the jump? Where are they? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, so there's a Kaizo block there, so therefore that cannot be a right wall jump. See, is that... is that how you do it? Could you hit jump after hitting the coop? <gasps> ah, okay, okay. Hey, Slippery Pylons has, uh, has got the best suggestion. So rather than me continuing to play the section in the exact same way over and over again, we now have an option. We have something new to try. <laughs> uh, oh, that's... Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, something bad, something bad's about to happen. It wouldn't be the first time I've paused myself into a death. <laughs> so, what's the move? Is the move to run left? <laughs> and that was the moment he knew. He put up. No. Just hang in the air slightly. Sometimes the solution may seem obvious. But... <laughs> Honestly, I had no idea what I was doing there. So, really good for offering that suggestion because I was stuck. All right, I know this nerd's gonna pop down. Oh, a checkpoint. We can't spin jump yet though. Is there an Australian equivalent of Taco Bell? Um, I think. I think we, um, I've seen a Taco Bell here and there. I don't think I have a Taco Bell local to my, uh, district. Uh, yeah, Barry Toss. Yeah, can I get a Barry Toss? Yeah, I've, um, I saw, I can't remember where we were. I saw a drive through Taco Bell, which is weird. Because first of all, they're, they're not that common. And second of all, drive through that might be, you know, old news to you Americans. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, all right. I wonder if that was an under. I've, I can't say I've ever eaten at a Taco Bell. I just, uh, I just know that people talk about just like crap in their pants after they eat it or whatever. <laughs> it doesn't sound pleasant based on the, uh, <laughs> the, the public perception. <laughs> oh. oh man. I don't know if I need to hang here for this long, but I'm happy to do it. It, uh, it feels fine. And then... Uh, uh. Okay, we're, we're buying some time. And then... That's quite a jump. Still can't spin jump, by the way. Albion Park. Albion Park. Okay, it was Albion Park. Yep. I did some, um, did a bit of a road trip, uh, a few weeks ago. Down the coast. Um, how did you set up your button input display? Well, <clears throat> I, um, have I got a story for you. Now, I noticed there's a secret exit on this level. So I need to dive back in, unfortunately. So I don't know where the I don't know where the spin is, but I did see something sus. I I did see a sus thing. So I reckon I know where it is. I just thought about it. Where can you spin? And I think I can spin off the springboard. Check this. Oh, what a genius! I just need to figure out how to make it work. I was thinking, oh, if you could. I wonder if I can carry the springboard back over. But then I can't do that. And I just sort of put the pieces together just then. So this is something I don't think I need um, hints for, which is a surprise. Okay. There we go. A secret exit. What does this path look like? Uh huh. Oh, oh. Can I spin can I spin in this subworld? No. Well. It's worth a shot. <laughs> uh, uh, uh yeah, probably a vine. That would make sense. Wait. Oh, okay. I go under the level. Understood. Now no spin jumps, remember? No span jumping. Oh, I can stand on that and go over. Well, I don't know if that's good. I think I might have just made it harder for myself. Oh, a key. Ah, the key. <gasps> oh, Fanto! No! Bad, bad Fanto. Okay, uh... Wait, where do I go now? Can I... I can't make that... Oh, I think I need to key jump or something. So where's the... Where's the keyhole then? Is it through here? Uh-huh. All right. Don't forget the key. Of course. Okay. Only Australians know what chicken tonight is. <laughs> and then... Oh, a key jump. All right. So Fanto hangs out there. Oh. Uh... Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. I could probably bait Fanto out left a bit. Um, let me get that jump. Hmm. <laughs> Nah, we'll we'll do we'll do this one. This was fine. Huh. 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 <laughs> All right. Key. Go there. Oh. All right. All right. All right. Where's Fanto now? Where is Fanto going to be? Am I going to get wrecked if I run? Uh huh. 
Oh, a boo fight. And there's two. There's two. It's not just one. Uh huh. All right. So get chased by one. I'll just drop those down for convenience. And I'm so dead. No, <laughs> that was close. Uh, rather than just. I wonder if it actually is a better idea not to drop the keys down. Now I'm thinking about it. Just so I'm constantly moving up and down. And uh, getting this guy off my tail. Okay, where are you? I had to try going down the pipe though. <laughs> Alright. This has been good. I've. It's only been an hour 40 or something. I've already got a stack of exits.